Tinnitus is described as hearing noises in the ears when there's no noise outside. The noise can be a high or low pitch, and it can be single tone or multiple tone. Tinnitus can occur suddenly or it can progress gradually over a period of time. The sounds you can hear with tinnitus include ringing, buzzing, roaring, clicking or a hissing noise. There are a few different causes of tinnitus. These can include disorders of either the outer ear, middle ear or inner ear. It can also be caused by Meniere's disease and certain medications. Other causes could be head or neck trauma, sinus pressure, traumatic brain injury or ototoxic drugs. Tinnitus can be a side effect of other medical conditions like hypothyroidism, anemia, Lyme disease, high blood pressure, depression, otosclerosis and certain tumours like an acoustic neuroma. A key thing to note is that even though most people with tinnitus have hearing loss, it doesn't mean that tinnitus is causing you to lose your hearing. There are two types of tinnitus. The first type is subjective. It can only be heard and perceived by the individual. It's usually down to an auditory and neurological reaction. 99% of cases are subjective tinnitus. The second type is objective tinnitus. This is where head or ear noises can be heard by other people and the patient. So the doctor who's examining you may also be able to hear it. Usually it's produced by internal functions in the body, like circulatory blood flow or musculoskeletal movements. Objective tinnitus is very rare and only accounts for 1% of the cases recorded. The treatment of tinnitus firstly includes general wellness including stress management and hearing protection. Neuromonics tinnitus therapy uses a combination of testing, counselling, masking with white noise to help manage and reduce response to tinnitus. Treatment can take up to 6 months but has a high success rate. Hearing aids can help as most with tinnitus tend to have a degree of hearing loss. Hearing aids can be designed to enhance hearing and mask auditory sounds of tinnitus by covering it up. Those who have tinnitus often report relief or at least partial relief with hearing aids. Lastly, you can get sound masking devices which look like hearing aids, but they generate sound to mask tinnitus sounds. They can provide relief from tinnitus, but they don't enhance hearing. The problem is they may interfere with understanding speech because they can block out sounds, but they're best to be used at night time to provide some relief and it can be used to help you sleep. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you found this video useful and you've made it to the end, leave a 100 emoji. And if you have any questions about this topic, leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you.